We're, we're back talking about the automatic combination nozzle. This is, the, this is going to be the second type of combination or fog nozzle that we'll cover, uh, or second category. When we talk about the automatics, they're sometimes termed constant pressure nozzles. The reason for that is there is a spring within the nozzle that is attached to the T-stem that keeps the opening at the end of the nozzle at a consistent size based on volume that you push through the nozzle. Now that's a long way of saying that, you know, try to, w w the thing I'll try to correlate it back to is placing your thumb over the end of the garden hose. If you can kind of understand what you're doing by placing your thumb over the end of that garden hose, then you can apply the theory of that to the automatic nozzle. And what we do when we place our thumb or hold our thumb over that, sh that stream is we're applying a pressure down with our thumb in order to reduce the size of the whole opening to give that, that water that comes out the garden hose reach penetration in some kind of shape. Typically speaking, when we talk about automatic nozzles, they operate at a either 100 or 75 pound uh, nozzle pressure, 75 pounds of nozzle pressure. The 75 pound versions are usually considered or termed low pressure automatics or um, low low automatics you know in some instances most of these automatic series nozzles have a emergency operation set setting uh, of either 50 or 60 pounds the thing about the, the automatics to remember or to keep in mind is that the spring inside maintains that con constant pressure over that opening to give you effective reach and penetration or, or effective water velocity out the end of the nozzle. That spring, in some cases, may require higher pump discharge pressures uh, to produce the desired flow. This is good because, you know, those higher discharge pressures decrease the likelihood that you're going to develop kinking within the line. This is, this is a problematic scenario because those higher pump discharge pressures also make the hose line more stiff, harder to bend around corners, and it and that as we increase our pump discharge pressure, we're also increasing our reactionary force and making it harder to hold for us on the hose team. You know, if you're a low manpower department, and you know, I would strongly encourage you to consider low pressure versions of these. Uh, these low pressure versions, they reduce the overall uh, reactionary force of the nozzle. In most cases, they give you an increase in flow and help to ease the work of the nozzle team by reducing the overall pump discharge pressure and pressure required to, uh, to hold and, and react to that nozzle.